Parables from nature. A parable, what is it? Well, it's a little story with a lot of truth in it. An earthly story with a heavenly meaning. The story you're about to be told reminds us of a parable that Jesus told. A parable that teaches us a very special lesson about God. The Busy Bee. This beautiful meadow was known to the bees as Honeyland. In the spring, the honeybees could hardly wait to see each new flower add its color to the field. It looked just like it had been painted with a magic brush. The honeybees loved their queen, Minerva. She was firm, but gracious and wise. Each little bee listened and obeyed when Queen Minerva spoke. Hear ye, my loyal subjects. Word has been received from our scouts that new clover has been discovered in the west field. Every bee must get an early start. There is much to be done. Now, at the same time the honeybees were busy visiting each blossom, the bumblebees were flying across the country with their queen, Carlotta, looking for a new place to live. There's a field tree. That looks good. Let's go down there. Down they went and found a place to live almost as soon as they landed. Joe Fieldmouse was just moving out of his house. Too bad I don't have time to clean the old place up. But that many bees will have it fixed up in no time. Oh, I gotta be on my way, I gotta be on my way, gotta be hurrying, gotta be scurrying, gotta be on my way. Oh, hello, Queen Carlotta. This is Queen Minerva. I've just learned that you are our new neighbor. Summer is such a busy time, but won't you please come over for tea? Why, thank you. You're very nice to call. I'd love to come. I do hope she enjoys these little sandwiches. I've made them from some of the special yes. honey we gathered last year. It's strange. I haven't seen her workers around at all. But I suppose that's because we've been too busy. My, your place is lovely. And these sandwiches, mm -mm, they're just the tastiest ever. My goodness, do you have all that honey stored away so soon? This honey tea is just delightful. You must tell me how you make it. But my dear Minerva, you look so worried. Is something wrong? Well, yes, Carlotta, I am worried. We do so want you to be happy and comfortable here in Honeyland. But the house you're in can't be used in winter. We have snow here and the ground will freeze. Oh, I urge you to find a hollow tree such as we have here. But Carlotta didn't want to move. And her workers felt just like she did. They weren't concerned about their needs for the winter. This was such a good time to relax and play croquet and do what they wanted to do. Oh, Queen Minerva shouldn't worry so. Why, there are five full months before we have any cold weather. It's true. I should think a little bit about it. Well, maybe tomorrow. The bees were certainly like their queens. The honeybees were busy going back and forth all day long, working fast, humming like little machines. But the bumblebees gathered just enough honey to eat from day to day. Their cupboard was almost empty, but it didn't seem to bother any of them too much. Oh, I see only three jars of honey here. <gasps> We really should do something about that. Well, I'll worry about it tomorrow. The 
The months went by quickly, and then winter came. It began to snow early, and it grew colder and colder. Queen Minerva had the two doorkeepers close the door for the winter so that every bee would keep snug and warm. In January, the weather was even worse, and the bumblebee's supply of honey was almost gone. So Carlotta sent five of her healthiest bumblebees through the icy snow to ask Queen Minerva for some food. It's so cold. I could hardly fly. I don't think I can make it. Queen Carlotta has sent us. It's an emergency. Our, our honey's almost gone. We can't keep warm. <laughs> We're hungry. Can't you help us? Please help us. I wish it were possible for me to help you. I'll check these records again to see if there is any honey to spare. I tried very hard to warn your queen, but she didn't take me seriously. I know you're in desperate need, but I can't do a thing. Our bees are all on half portions now, so that we may take care of our children. Thank you anyway, Queen Minerva. We know you'd help us if you could. We should have worked harder. I guess we'll just have to manage the best way we can. Oh, I wonder what Queen Carlotta's going to say now. Oh, we Give him my mouth, My feet are so numb, and my wings have ice on them. Please wait. It's so cold. Well, the bumblebees made their way back through the snow to tell Queen Carlotta the sad news that they would just have to get through the rest of the winter as best they could. But winter finally ended. The days became longer and the snow began to melt. At last it's spring and the new leaves are beginning to come out. I believe that's the hardest winter we've ever had. Considering everything, we've managed fairly well. Just look at all these blossoms. Oh, there's so much new honey. This is fun. We're, We're happy it's sunny. sunny. It's time, time to get, get honey. honey. Oh, oh, happy are we that it's spring. It's spring. spring. Yes, Minerva and the honeybees were just fine. But poor Carlotta was miserable. Her bumblebees had suffered throughout the winter. Many were too sick to realize that spring had come again. She had only one or two healthy bees left to start looking for honey. How could I have been so foolish? If only I had listened to Queen Minerva. The winter was hard and terrible. No one will ever know what we've been through. Oh, my. This story is much like the parable Jesus told about ten bridesmaids who wished to attend a wedding feast. The feast was to be held at night, and the ten bridesmaids took their lamps with them to furnish light. Five took extra oil for the lamps, which was very wise, because they needed it even before the feast began. But the five foolish ones had not taken extra oil, and their lamps soon went out. Without their lights, they were not able to go to the feast. Jesus told this story so that we could understand that our hearts are like those lamps. We should always keep them ready to answer when God calls.